Hi, I'm Marina from LitMaps, here to share with you how to conduct your literature review using our tool. LitMaps can help you find papers faster, stay organized, keep up to date, and visualize your entire research project. Let's look at how. Hop onto the LitMaps app and search for your topic. The next step is to select an article from which I can build my first LitMap. The idea of LitMaps is to discover literature based on connection. So for this first step, we only need to find one relevant article from which to start exploring literature. Look for an article that has a significant amount of citations and references. As we'll see in the next step, LitMap searches based on connection. So the more citations and references your paper has, the more recommendations we can generate. This article, for example, is on my topic and it has 53 references and 36 citations. So this is a great place to start my literature review. I'll go ahead and click explore related articles on a new lit map. I can use this article's lit map to now dive into other relevant literature, as well as understanding the general landscape of how this article fits in the research. Every circle on this map represents an article. The dark shaded dot is my input article, and every hollow dot represents suggestions generated by lit maps. I can look through the suggestions here on the sidebar, and if something seems relevant, I can click on it to see more details, and then even click on its title to go directly to the source page. Now, LitMaps not only helps you find relevant articles based on a single input article, but you can also grow your LitMap, and this helps you further improve and target your search. So if I find this article is really relevant to my topic, I'll go ahead and click more like this. Now that article has been added to my lit map. And when I refresh, it will use both of these as inputs into the search algorithm. If I continue to do this over and over, I can eventually grow my lit map to include all the relevant papers on my subject. At the start of the video, I mentioned that you can also use lit maps to help you stay organized. So by default, your lit map is automatically saved. If I click on articles at the top right, I can see all of the articles saved to my lit map, but I can also take this one step further by tagging articles. If I click on an article and hit tag, I can give it a specific category, perhaps the methodology that was used or a subtopic of my research. Now I'll be able to differentiate different subtopics on my map by using the different colors associated with that tag. By continuing to search on lit maps by using the more like this button and tagging articles as you find them, you'll eventually end up with a map that looks like this. Here I've illustrated my entire literature review and how the different topics interact. I've even included my new paper as a custom article at the bottom right and had it reference all the existing literature I've reviewed. I can also change how the lit maps visualization looks by changing the axes. By default, lit maps are all ordered based on date of publication and citation count. I can change how this looks by clicking on the axes. For example, you can sort the map based on map connectivity. This will help highlight which article is most interconnected to all the other articles on your map. Finally, you can share your lit map in several ways. You can share a public URL or email it to your colleagues, or you can click on the screenshot item at the bottom right and export an image of your map. You can use this map anywhere you talk about your research, such as a blog or even in the actual publication. You can also use lit maps to stay up to date on research. After I finish a literature review, it might not be months or even years until that work actually gets published. In that time, a lot can happen. So the best way to stay current is simply to run monitoring. Go to your maps homepage and click enable automatic monitoring and hit enable monitor. That's all you need to do. Now lit maps will automatically run this map through the search algorithm every week and let you know if any newly published articles come out that match or connect to your map. Now you know how to search for literature, stay organized, and keep up to date using your lit maps. If you have any questions, leave us a comment and check out the resources in the description of this video, where we include links to other resources you can check out. Thanks for watching, and we hope to see you on the app.